An atmosphere rich in volatile oxygen allows more complex dynamic creatures to exist. But oxygen appears to have a downside. It is so volatile that it can trigger violent runaway reactions. The most deadly of which is fire. Seen here as thousands of red dots, over one million square kilometers of the Earth is ravaged by wildfires every day. Fire is another of the Earth's remarkable systems. It plays a crucial role in the cycle of living things. A good place to see it in action is the boreal forest in northern Canada. This vast spruce forest has a special relationship with fire. Here, dead and diseased trees lay practically dormant, such as the cold. Locked in this timber are the ingredients needed to make new life. But left like this, these trees would take many hundreds of years to break down. Fire can shorten this process to a matter of hours. Most natural wildfires start in the same way, with a random electric bolt from the sky. The spruce tree is the perfect fuel. It combusts with such ease and immediacy that one spark and it bursts into flames. This is how volatile oxygen delivers its deadly blow. Oxygen in the hot air makes new bonds with the carbon atoms in the wood of the tree. This generates heat, which makes the oxygen bond faster still creating yet more heat. The flame intensifies. As the inferno rages, the energy from the sun that's been stored inside the plant as it grew is released. And that's what fire is. Watch a fire burning, and you're witnessing the power of the sun released from the life that has stored it for so long. Within a matter of hours, what started as a spark turns many hundreds of hectares of forest to flames. The organic matter these trees have stored for many hundreds of years is quickly turned to ash. These flames also remove the dead and deceased organisms which inhabit the forest and recycle them, returning their minerals back to the soil. Fire has been around ever since plants evolved. They produce the oxygen and at the same time, they grew the material needed to burn. But plants not only make fire possible, many depend on it too. The spruce tree, for example, has evolved to drop its seeds in the ashen aftermath of a blaze. From space, we can see the effect fires have across the world. 
A pulse of new growth follows every blaze. Wildfires maintain the health of many of the world's habitats. Ecosystems that would otherwise stagnate instead regenerate.